What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Diaz, and I'm back for another video. So, after I did my live, I was putting screens up in the front of my house. And my news channel went off again. I said, wow, like, what is going on now? Now, this is on the national news. The U.S. government tracking more than 650 potential UFO cases, the Pentagon says. All right, not lying. This is on the national news. All right, so I'm going to read a little bit. It says, the U.S. government is tracking more than 650 potential cases of so-called unidentified aerial phenomenon, commonly known as UFOs. According to the director of office created last year to focus on the sightings. John Kirkpatrick, which is the director of the Pentagon's All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, um, told a Senate Armed Service Subcommittee Wednesday that the number of cases was up from the 350 reports referenced in an unclassified intelligence report of an unidentified aerial phenomenon released earlier this year. All right, it says, the first video shows an, or an orbit that flew through the camera screen of an MQ-9 drone in the Middle East in 2022. The drone's camera followed the object as it moved through the sky, coming in and out of the screen. In the second video from South Asia earlier this year, an object flew by two MQ-9 drones, including one that captured video appearing to have a propulsion trail behind it, which, is Kirk, which Kirkpatrick said was initially believed to be truly anom anomalous. Um... It says there are less risk risk averse at technical techno, uh, technical advancement than we are. They are just willing to try things and see if it works. He said, "Are there capabilities that could be employed against us in both SR intelligence, surveillance, and renaissance in a weapons fashion?" Absolutely. Do I have evidence they're doing it in these cases? No, but I have concerning indicators. Oh, listen. <laughs> I'm going to bring this up because Train 57 did a video um, about satellite trains. I seen one the one night by my house. It was probably like 30 of them. Now, they weren't traveling like this. It wasn't a long train. It was kind of like one, then it was another one, then it was another one. And they were kind of like in a formation kind of thing. They weren't directly behind each other. They were kind of like this. Okay, so they were a little bit off from each other, but they were all going into the same direction. Um, when you see these satellite satellite trains that they supposedly say that they do have, it is literally... A train but it's like this they look like they're this close to each other even though whatever they they're not but they look like they're this close okay and it looks like it's just dot 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 like that but it's not um so and here i'll give you i'll give you an example you see these lights this is what they look like okay that's how close they look like traveling now, that's what they supposedly said are their satellite train. Um, why, first of all, one, why would all them satellites be traveling in the same direction? Why would they be traveling in the same direction at the same speed? Like, it's, it's beyond me why they would even try to have somebody believe that and there is people that really really believe it and i've seen in comments um whenever people were posting these things that they're like oh oh thank god we thought they were aliens like 
why like one who needs satellites in the same exact spot you need satellites all over supposedly and i'm not saying that we don't have satellites i'm not saying that i'm just saying that the things that they're proposing are satellites are not they are not satellites so with that being said thank you guys for tuning in I would appreciate it if you can please give this video a big thumbs up, comment below, and let me know what you guys think of the video. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, and I'm so used to my phone, I'm sitting there looking in all different places and my camera is right up there. Okay, so like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Um, Donate to the channel. Feel free to donate to your girl the eyes because I love making video for videos for y'all. I, I really do. Like it and you know, and the thing is is watching other people make videos is what inspires you. Um, there's a difference between being a watcher and being a um I mean it is considered it's like an inspector, basically. Because you're watching other people's videos to kind of get inspired and, you know, even get some ideas. You know, there's people that make videos based off of what somebody else makes. Like, um, I know T Electric, he has made plenty of videos about home invasions. And it brought, like, it made me be inspired and like, okay, well, maybe I should do a home invasion video and kind of put my touch on it kind of give my opinion on the best ways this or how to how to prevent or you know just whatever um so people other youtubers they they do inspire people and, and i hope i hope 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 that i inspire people um to make videos um i just wish that when some people would make videos based off of somebody else that they give that person some kind of credit because you know, you, you are, you're not taking from them, but you kind of are. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Just, you know, give credit where it's due. You can make videos off of my stuff all day long. I don't care. But at least give people the credit that they deserve because I've heard a lot of people, a lot of people making videos and it's the exact same thing that people that somebody else was talking about and i was just like wow like at least give them credit you know like that's like some some messed up stuff you know but um but anyway so yeah i have to answer this but yeah so um give this video a thumbs up um comment below let me know what you think um, subscribe to your channel, you know, all that good stuff. Um, share the video if you need to. Um, I'm actually going to tag a couple YouTubers in here because I know that they are into these kind of things and I know that they would love to do a video on it. So I'm going to tag them in it. Make sure you guys go subscribe to these people that I put in the description because they are very important. Um, they will show you support, they will show you the love, um, and they have some great content. So with that being said, it is your girl D-Eyes, and I will see you guys in the next video.